So in our last session, we set up a class uh, in Microsoft Classroom. So in this session, I'm going to show you how to uh, add an assignment for that class. So we go to that class, um, click on assignments, and you'll see you get a list of all the in-progress assignments and you can filter it also by which ones are completed and have already ended. So to create a new assignment, we click new assignment, give the assignment a name, so I'll just put write a story. You can put in a due date for when you want that work to be completed by in a due time. So that will be the uh, the lesson that it's due for next time. And then you can put in some details. You can also attach some files. So I can press attach. You've got lots of options. You can attach something straight from your computer, from your OneDrive. It could just be a video from the video portal, web searches. So any sorts of you know files that you can attach um, you can do that and then you also can allow students to participate in a discussion which I've just ticked and saved so let's create the assignment nice and straightforward and um, fairly easy so once that's been created and um, you'll see that it automatically appears on this page it just takes a few seconds to appear and if I click on that assignment I can see uh, the details of it, so the instructions that I set. You can also see a graph of um, who's got what grade. So once we've filled in the mark sheets, that will be populated. I can see the mark sheets under submissions. And if I wanted to, I could manually put in some grades straight away without even receiving anything back. What I will do is I'll log in as a student, show you the student view. So this is logged in as a student. I can see I've got an assignment to do. Click on that assignment. And when this finish is loading, um, it'll show me an area where I can submit some files. So I can create a new file. Um, I've got a discussion board on the right hand side as well. So if I needed to talk to my teacher, needed some help, I could post that on there. And that'll appear for my teacher to see and respond to, have that mentoring communication between the teacher and the student. So I'm just going to create a Word document in here. So it opens up in Office Web Apps, so again, you don't need Office installed on your machine to be able to submit these homeworks. So I'm just going to edit it in the browser. So this document is actually being saved inside your OneDrive. So whenever I finish this piece of work, um, so I'll just quickly put in some text, and I'll change the title of the document to Story. So if I actually click on the breadcrumb, which is my name, Susan Abbott, I'll go back to her own um, OneDrive. You can see it's already created some folders for Microsoft Classroom, a bit like the Teacher Dashboard product does, almost exactly the same. If I go back in the tab in my browser, I go back to the assignment and I can add more, res uh, add more responses if I want to. And I can press turn in when I'm ready to submit it. So a bit, the language is a bit Americanized at the moment. So I've turned that assignment in. So it just takes a few seconds to do that. And then what I'll do is I'll log back in as a teacher in a minute. So I'll just quickly show you the calendar. So the calendar, um, which will link into your Outlook, so I can overlay all the different calendars from all my different uh, subjects that I'm taking. And you'll see on that calendar, I've got write a short essay, write a short story in my calendar. So any homeworks that you've got in those calendars will appear in your Outlook calendar as well. Uh, conversations um, that will just open up your discussion board and your e group email. Um, files, this is an area where you can have shared files. So if you work on a project together, this is quite good for group work. So it's just really a SharePoint document library um, that everybody has access to. Um, so possibly good for some group collaboration work. And then the About tab just tells us the details that teachers filled in. So going back as a teacher now, I've submitted that file can see um, in the teacher dashboard area of it, I've got the, the work that the student submitted. I can then put in a grade for this work. So it's out of 100 by default, but you can change it at the top if you needed to. Um, and when I'm ready to uh, post that grade, I click post grade, and then Susan can see that grade when she logs in. And I can also put in a message that will go straight to her as well, personal message. Um, so comment on that work. And I can also export these grades to Excel. So at the top of the mark sheet is an export grades button. And if you press on that, it'll open up um, Microsoft Excel. 
as a CSV file and you get all your grades exported to that, first name, last name, the course name, so you can you know, do all your Excel manipulation to get that into your grade books. And you can also see that that graph we saw earlier has been populated, so if I just populate a few more of these grades it will just um, work slightly better. So let's post those grades and then go back to the graph under details. Just close that as well so no one could submit anything as it still has been in the in progress list. So you can see I've got my graph there of how people have done on this particular assignment. So that's how you set assignment in Microsoft Classroom. So there are some limitations to it but um, it's also pretty straightforward and easy to use.